Let's make sure to slow down time. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, I completely forgot to tell it to go to the depot. Shit. Um. Um. Okay. Dr okay, drop off those 75. Drop off the 75. 25, 0. Go to the depot. Go to the depot. Don't pick people up. Okay, so we made a bit of money, just in case we do sell the carriages. Might as well. These are pretty old carriages. We have, like, the first-class dining car and second-class cars now, so maybe I do replace the carriages. Right, go into the depot. You in? Good. Okay, now, engines. Um... Ah, iron cutter reward. Good, more money. Okay, let's get... Um... 2485. Yeah, that can carry, a, a, like, what, 30, 40 more tons or something like that, and it goes faster. Slightly more upkeep, but okay, let's get that, um, let's get that right there. And sell the 260 Porter. And now, um, we will. See, right now that has a capacity of 75. And if I just get three second-class carriages, that's also 75. So yeah, this is this is completely inefficient. We'll sell all that and get... Okay, that has a capacity of 75, and I can still carry 30 more tons. Only 30, huh? Well, what we can do is basically just... Two Pullmans is 16 people. Um... I think we can just eat the extra 8 tons of having another second class car, and 232 shouldn't be too bad, and we're, we'll refit the other train with the exact same thing, so, you know, no, nobody ever catches up with the other one. Right, go on your route. Keep, keep doing, keep doing you, just to make sure, I wanna, I wanna make sure that you... Drachten's, yes, pick up people from Drachten Station, good, and, oh, shit, 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 okay, no. Yeah, you do the same. We'll, we'll have you do the exact same thing. We'll have you drop off those people and go into the depot so we make money. Right, passenger train two. Drop off those 75 and go to the depot. We're going to do the exact same thing with you. Just politics. Ah, yes, we connected the city and we transported people. Good. 50 iron tokens. Not even... In yeah, not ingots, clearly, because I, I'd have nowhere to put them. Uh... This one has... Yes. Okay. You go to the depot. So this, uh, that, that quest was completed pretty quickly. We already transported 200 people between these two cities. And making a very tidy sum of money. Yeah, very nice, very nice. See here, look, 14 mail is more than 38 passengers. That's crazy. 23, 23, that's, um, that, what is that, uh, 40, 46, yeah. 23 and 23 is 46. 46 money just from mail, right? We're making more than from the passengers, so that's, that's pretty damn lucrative. I almost feel like it would be beneficial to, like, take one of the second-class carriages away and put a couple more mail things on there. That would actually be probably a good idea. Right. Let's get a Baldwin. Put that on you. Sell that. Sell all your carriages. And get all these second-class... There we go. Beautiful. Start. Go. And you should be going to Drachten Station. Good. And since we took roughly the same amount of time to do that, you guys should be pretty much in the ex almost exact same position as you were uh, when I kind of started doing this. New locomotive, buy a locomotive. Buy a GS2, you say? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. I'll think about it. They're, they're pretty pricey. And they have pretty high upkeep. They make good passenger trains if you have the uh, refined coal income or the coal token income better said uh, but I feel like I still need to work potentially on my lumber yard stuff just make sure yeah this train which was this one ah this was the new one right 
We have to rename you. Uh, you are now passenger train three. Only three, huh? Definitely gonna need a couple of more. Uh, all right, passenger train three. Might refit you for handling more mail, though. Um, yeah, we'll think about it. We'll think. Actually, I don't think there's anything to think about because this town isn't creating the amount of people. So every time it goes up to Middleburg, we're basically just losing money. But it is creating mail at the exact same rate as Middleburg. So yeah, go go drop the people off. Um, and we will tell you to go to the depot. Oh shit, shit. There's a bit of, there's still a bit of mail. Unload it, unload it, unload it. Okay, good. Go to the depot after you unload. And we'll refit you with more mail wagons. And it would actually probably be pretty profitable then to maybe have a train, um, kind of doing a mail loop up this way, although it would be in the way of all these foundries these foundries that don't really have much iron around them and only one coal mine. That's pretty bad. This map is turning out to be a little bit... not shit, but not the best. Oh crap, I have coffee brewing. Alright. Train in here. Um, so, let's sell one of those and get more mail. 201, 216. Um, and I think, in terms of just, you know, making the most bang for our buck, um, I see no reason why we can't just go over by seven tons and have another mail cart on there. I think that's pretty good. All right, start, go back to your circuit. And you've got a decent amount of lumber, but I think we might need to start producing a little bit more. We're not capping this. Yeah, this we might need to get freight station here so they can offload yeah they're not we're not offloading very efficiently not at all this guy is leaving the sawmill with 35 logs still in his or it's not like the train has a dick um but it's cargo so i think maybe we 
put a freight station on here. So that will increase the loading speed by 200% and the capacity goes up to 300. So now the trains are gonna exit a little bit faster because they're gonna offload all their stuff a bit faster. And we'll be able to get that up to 300. And this, hmm. see that, that's, if that starts to increase it, I guess, efficiency in terms of, well, I mean, it, it's not at 200. It's nowhere near 200, so it's not like we're capping on actual lumber itself. It's not like this lumber hauler is um, inefficient in, in that it doesn't get there in time. If this was at 200 and just stuck there, then that would be a whole different matter. But, uh, but I feel like maybe we can put a freight station there just in case, just on the off chance that... Um, that... You know, we, we don't pay attention to this lumber yard for a while, and, and maybe having done that in... I don't know. I don't know. We'll do this anyway, just so it loads a lot quicker, and the capacity goes up to 300 as well for the lumber. Um, but I feel like we could potentially start to get... Let's see. Ah, we've got... Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. We could potentially get a steam sawmill. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we could we could do that. Definitely want to get um, the initial ones though. probably need to get into the next age, though. If I can get into the diesel age, I think that unlocks some pretty decent trains that, that go a lot slower. Oh, we can actually do that right now. Oh. Do I want to, though? Or do I want to maybe get a little bit of money and clear a couple of these hills? Oh, that's a tough decision. That's actually a, a pretty tough decision. Because I don't necessarily need to right this second. And I can always sort of re-outfit my trains at another time. Um, yeah, you know what? You, you, go to depot. Go to depot. Go straight to the depot. Do not, do not low, load. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. Just go straight to the depot. We'll, we'll try it out with you first, forestry hauler 2. And we'll just have that one keep carting uh, logs back and forth so the production chain doesn't actually stop. Um, but I am, I am pretty sure that I'm going to need another one of these immediately. So that's, that's a Baldwin with five Ronghoffers. We'll get that out immediately because our, 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 um, production of lumber is about to go through the roof. So Baldwin, Ronghoffers. Oh, I could get Ronghoffer twos. 50 tons. 30, 30, 30, 30. I, I could actually... Probably go up to 230, maybe 230, or just or just yeah, a bunch of wrong hoffers and then or wrong hoffer twos and then one wrong hoffer one to kind of I don't know. Do I just go six tons over? Yeah, screw it, screw it. 45. All right, you. You, really quickly, go follow the exact same orders that this bad boy here is doing. There we go. 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 Get there ASAP. And go start uh, transporting lumber, because what we're about to do here is going to be nice and spicy. So, for Forestry Hauler 2, get in there. Now, you are... Uh, also a Baldwin. Uh, do I even have porters left, or have I changed everything to a Baldwin? No, I've got a couple of porters. Lumber hauler? Are my, my passenger trains are porters? Wait, no, that can't be. Oh, sorry, they're Baldwins. 
all my passenger trains are Baldwin's? Did I did I change that already? Cause I know yeah. Okay. That's that's nice. So I've got lumber haulers. Wow, I'm so confused now. Where where is this? That's that's Oh, it's this chain over here. That's right, the forest that um that was f that w went down in the storm. Okay, so I've got a couple of lumber haulers there that are obsolete. Right, but um Okay, what I need to do here is you are currently operating almost perfectly efficient. Uh but you are at 224 225. Um if I put Sorry, wagons. If I put that's 55, and I'm pretty sure that once you get the uh, the charcoal kiln in a forestry thing, I think it goes to like three to one. So at 55, nine is definitely not three to one. Maybe 15 is close to three to one, but that's way too much weight. So I think I go for I think I go for selling one of these and. Um, what would be 33% of 44? I, I have no idea. I can't do it. It's like 30 something. Or, sorry, thir 13. To, I, no. I don't know. Oh, it would be just under 15, right? Yeah, because 40, yeah, 15 to 45, so it would be pretty much 15. Capacity 15. Ooh, but that's 242 tons. That's, that's pretty crazy. Um, it's a lot. Screw it. We'll test it out, and we'll see. if it gives us problems, we'll just send it right back. So go, go back and start doing that transportation loop. And right now we add a. Sorry, no, that's a coal mine. So, and you're not going to that loop, you're going to this one. Yes, you're going to, I'm pretty sure you're going to this one. You're going, yes, you're going up here. So, this station is now going to start producing a little bit of unrefined coal. Basically, charcoal. So now it should, yeah, there you go. One, one, one. Um... So that's going to pick up all the coal from there, and then I guess we don't even need to take that up to 3 to 1, because we still have this second forestry thing up here that it's going to stop at, so... So yeah, we can just do that, and now, in this sawmill, we just get a steam sawmill. So now, aside from what it already can do just with logs, now if it does have coal, it is instead going to take one coal and six logs and create seven planks of wood, which is unbelievably efficient for our logs, which is very, very nice. That's going to boost our log production pretty nicely. See, we see here it's creating two, 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 two. Yeah, it's just creating two planks of wood over and over and over until it gets that little shipment of coal, which is just going to be phenomenal. See, two. Oh, it stopped for a second. Two. And now that it has coal. Oh, seven. Yes. Seven. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. So that's just going to be absolutely crazy for our lumber production. And good thing is, we already have the, um, we already have this train hauling more lumbers, so now our lumber token income is going to increase very, very nicely. It's going to be very nice. We just started February, so 234, 248, 240, we should, see a, we should see a pretty big spike in this number, possibly even going up to like 400 per year. Very, very nice in our lumber token income. Now I just need to work a little bit on my iron ingot income. I do have... I've got two trains. Yeah, this needs... this needs another train. 
This needs a yeah. I was thinking two would be maybe enough, but there no, there's no way. This definitely needs another train. One, we're gonna start getting that capacity of raw iron ingots or iron ingots basically up right now. So that's up to 300. It's gonna start producing. We're gonna stop losing resources. Um, yeah, this 100% needs another train hauling iron ingots up to the tool works. So that's a Baldwin with two sixes and two fours. Let's get another one out. All right, go. Orders, do the exact same thing that these trains are doing. Start and go haul a bunch of iron ingots. Keep them coming, boys, keep them coming. We're looking pretty damn good on money so far. I think we maybe start, uh, I don't know if to, yes, let's, 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 let's exponentially increase our money producing empire. I think maybe we get a little loop from here, Hugo Ward, up to Roermond, just doing mail. Well, maybe like one carriage of people, I, I don't know. They're decently sized towns, nine and five. It'll, it'll be a decent amount of income. But the focus really is on mail, just to make a whole bunch of money. And to do that, I'm probably going to want to level up. Yeah, take all that away. That's only 700-ish. It's pretty nice. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get a whole bunch of money coming in. A whole bunch of money. Nice little station right there. Nice little... St Ooh, that coal mine is pretty close. I think I might have to kind of... Yeah, I'll pull it out to here. Uh, actually, yeah. It, well, since no road is going to be passing through here. That doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll do it just for good measure. I'll pull it out by one. And this might have a road, so I'll pull that out. Okay. So that's going down there. This could have a little road network. That loop right back around. And I want to kind of be in between this coal mine and foundry. I don't want to disrupt it too much, so... Let's bring that right out to here. There we go. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. This will be our little mail loop. Although I think I might have just screwed something up here. Let's check. If we can always delete a little bit. It's no big problem whatsoever. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Looking pretty good. Alright, beautiful. I didn't go over. Excellent. And we will bring this one right in, so we're not using too much space in our industrial sector. Oh, excellent. Gorgeous little loop. Gorgeous little loops. Okay, now we just need, um, one, how are the catchment areas? Do I even bother with people, or do I just make this a mail loop? Um, no, you know what, you know what, I think I won't even bother with people. We'll just, we'll just have it kind of be mail. Ah, but then this definitely needs a waiting room. Um, yeah because it doesn't even have access to that postal office. So there we go. Now that's all accepting... Uh, only 200 in mail. I wonder if a freight station increases the loading and unloading of mail and the capacity of mail. I, I don't know. I'll hold off on it for now, because if I want to put it on both stations, that's 160 lumber tokens, and I'm not willing to do that just this second. But let's see. I could potentially even use this same here let's level that uh, the same on and off network for this loop yeah we could do that we could do that let's get this coming right out here and 
does bypass that coal mine, but I'm thinking maybe I leave that coal mine alone in case I need anything passing through it. So yeah, we'll have it kind of extend out to like here. That's, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And bring that right in. Um, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's, that's fine, yeah, we can, yeah, that's fine, we can bypass that little curve. All right, beautiful, absolutely, no, sorry, wrong way, that's going that way, that's going, yes, yes, like so. And that, 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 is that everything? Uh, there, I, I guess, just in case. It's looking fine. Four for that, four for that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we've got that created. Now we just need a Baldwin hauling a bunch of mail. All right, engines. Baldwin, wagons, mail. How much can you carry? 15, 15. Uh, that's 63 in total. Screw it. We'll just... Actually, we'll stick with that for now, and we'll see how it performs. If it's performing poorly, uh, we'll either... We'll take... We'll um, add or subtract mail carts. Okay, go. Go do postage duties. And hopefully it um we regenerate it off mail every cycle for it to be somewhat efficient and actually give us a very, very decent amount of money. And you're gonna see just how much this train makes. It's gonna be beautiful. Choo-choo. Tough choice. Uh, what's it? We'll, we'll read that in a bit. Alright, so you pick up, sadly, not 63 pieces of mail, but 50-something. 50, 50... 54 for 341 cash tokens. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, and hopefully that, that generates a little bit faster. Maybe I might need to... Well, I don't necessarily need to remove a, a mail wagon. Um, but I could. If it's inefficient, we could transport a couple of people here and there. Just to kind of balance things out and make a little bit more money. Because if it's not going to be carrying a full capacity of mail, then that's a little bit pointless. Okay, so... Dotingham and Pormorend... <laughs> are still climbing in the numbers. They're, yeah, I might need to add a third train to this. Just to take care of Dotingham and Purmerend. I think that's something I could potentially do. And I mean, I'm just going to be making more money, if anything. So, a Baldwin with four second-class coaches. Okay. And orders do the exact same thing as these two trains start, but we'll stop you in Drachten for a little bit just to wait until one of these trains comes down to here. So I'll go pick stuff up. Wait, why why did you why did you not Oh you start in Pormerend? Why is that? It's very Strange. Okay, wait. Uh, uh, no. What was the um? What was the thing? Stop and turn around. No. What was the next? Ah, this one. Skip to next command. So, don't loop all the way around to Permaren. Just skip to Waspik. There we go. Waspik Wow Station. But stop for a second, and we'll give you some space. Uh, from passenger train two. We'll wait till passenger train one probably leaves Dotingham station. So right around sort of now-ish, I guess. Yeah, that 
maybe, no, a bit more, a bit more. Probably around there, around there, yeah, around there. Okay. So. Um, and this, this is performing beautifully. 379.